นะ
Bahan apa kak? Yang Have you said to every person the same things about yourself? No? Is it different? Yeah. On the basis of what you change your, your uh, narrative? Can you, can you uh, repeat the Why you change your narrative and in the basis of what? In regards to what? Uh, I, I didn't want to repeat every every time the same thing. I didn't want to say, well, my name is, I'm from, I do that, I work here, I work there. And so I, I changed and I just told about my about my feelings or how I perceive the person next to me because uh, I talked to, to one person and she said, yeah, I already noticed that you talk German um, um, because I was next to you there. And I said like, uh, well, I, I didn't perceive that um, because I was always oriented to the person in front of me. And because I didn't know who would come from the left side, and just when I had my, my partner, my first partner, like her, and um, she she would come back because I know I know her, I already know her, I would notice her. So I, I found that just interesting. So and I told people about about that also. So and then we talked about how, how you, you see people. What with who do you think you fitted the most from all the people you met? With with who I, I felt what? That you you could fit most. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to choose anyone. <laughs> no, no. But uh, actually, like as we are all, um, as we all came here for the same reason, like to discover performance. I think we all have some matches, and I didn't felt any difficulties to to exchange with anyone like it was easy because we are all like excited to be here and bit nervous and curious we we all share the same interest so but if you had to pick one if i have to if you had to pick one i don't know the, the woman i just uh, just uh, speak with um, and why uh, because uh, we just noticed also that uh, we were in the same uh, flight and uh, we also discussed that we are going to go back uh, in Germany with the same flight too <laughs> and so yes, <laughs> <laughs> and we, we also like visit the same places today like so yeah uh, I have a, I had a very funny uh, impression and also very crazy impression about is it that. anyone from you that said exactly the same things for more than Five times. I think so, yes. Mm. Yeah? Mm. With a little variance because I figured out that most of the people in this row are, are either, most of them are Germans and most of them are either Berlin or Kassel. And since I'm from Kassel as well, and of course there was a narrative a bit different from people with, from Kassel because we come from the same place. So I would say there's a little variance, but overall I would say most of the conversations were very similar. And how did it felt? A bit repetitive and a bit like speed dating, like you know, you have this very short moment of time and then of course in the beginning you're a bit nervous of how to approach a person and you exchange like the, the normal questions, what is your name, what do you do, where are you from, why are you here? And I would say the, there's not enough time to then find out what is kind of the distinction of a certain person beyond this primary information that you get. So you did not feel that with somebody it was, um, I don't know, more well, interesting. There is my partner standing on the other side, so <laughs> of course with him, I have to say it was a bit more. <laughs> what did you say with him? Hmm? What did you say with him? Well, we exchanged a bit about the weirdness of standing opposite of each other and participating in this performance. Can you speak about what you did in regards to this? Could you read it for us out loud? Okay. Maybe. Social dissonance. Listen carefully. 
The audience is your instrument. Play it in order to practically understand how we are generally instrumentalized. I read all of it? Mm -hmm. Prepare the audience with concepts, questions and movements as a way to explore the dissonance that exists between the individual narcissism that capitalism promotes in our so and our social capacity. Between how we conceive ourselves as free individuals with agency and the way that we are socially determined by capitalist relations, technology and ideology. Reflect on the I-we relation while defining social dissonance. Help the collective subject to emerge. sentences of this quite interesting. Help the collective subject to emerge uh, because we are like here already kind of a community and um, like it, I don't know, like uh, for me it like it um, it would an, enhance a, um, a question like uh, if uh, is it possible for people who uh, do not uh, know them, each other, know each other before to spontaneously make a, like, yeah, a collective subject uh, exist together. Just the question would be like, is it possible some, such a thing so easy to, to do or to, to make it exist? And maybe it's also like with the actual politics and conflicts and communities conflicts and and Europe uh, European uh, problem, uh, problems like union or not union and uh, what did it say about capitalism and uh, uh, well it's, it's a lot it's a lot in there actually mm -hmm. so analyze the text. about just like growing together as a community and you, you talked about political issues you know like the union the European Union so I think an important part if you want to create a community which could act politically or in a way somehow against capitalistic structures do we feel responsible for each other because of course we are here now in the same place we are kind of we are here part of the performance and we are, I don't know what everybody is thinking, but everyone is an individual, we go out and maybe we don't see each other again, maybe in the, fl <laughs> in the plane, so, but maybe not. But um, for me, it just raises up the question, do we feel some kind of responsible for each other, also in a more global or country-wise sense? Was very funny what you are asking because like last week in Berlin it was like the Lange Nacht Idee, the Idee, so the yeah. long night of ideas. And in a Savi conference, a Savi, Savi contemporary, the arts uh, center, they were there was an artist, an Afro American artist, who made also a performance and who asked directly to the to the audience that question. Yes. And yeah. So I think it's <laughs> like the, one of the big questions like people are asking to each other nowadays. Yeah, I think it's a very important question because mm -hmm. when I'm walking through the streets in Berlin, I don't have the feeling that I should feel responsible for people around me or they feel responsible for me. So it's just like really, of course, we have a lot of freedom. We have the freedom to move and to do the things we want, but also it's very individualistic way of thinking that we're just on our own and so and it's not just responsible for each other it's also questions of responsible for um, nature for 
and it goes on, I think. Here is no, it was a question because um, it was, she was talking about community and if we create a community and for me an important question would be if we feel responsible for each other and no, I, I, because of course... Uh, for whom do you feel responsible? For myself, <laughs> to be honest. And um, I think somehow for my closest friends and family, so people I know for a very long time. Yes. And I don't know, it's hard to say if I, or it's hard to answer the question if I feel responsible for, for other people suffering more than me um, or the nature, because somehow I do, but of course at first, I'm looking at myself and then I'm feeling well before looking at others. I think it's one of, uh, it is something that uh, we, like, so, like some people ho are hoping that, uh, for example, God is still responsible for everyone. And I think like, Maybe it shows that uh, it might be an, something uh, impossible to, to feel for a human being to, to, to feel responsible for anyone in the street, for anyone in the world. So uh, it's a very deep question and maybe just the human are just uh, hoping that someone can do this and it might be God for some people. I think it depends, you know, you feel responsible for the things you choose also. Mm -hmm. Like if you, and, and you create your, your social environment in your group. So if you like, uh, if, you, uh, if you want to protect the nature, you feel responsible for, for everyone in the group. If you protect the nature, if you're vegan, if you feel responsible for the you eat. So uh, it depends also on that. So if you're, uh, it depends on community, you feel, you feel responsible for the bankers. <laughs> That. So, and if you belong to to different groups, you can you can maybe uh, diversify that. But you can you can't be everything. Mm -hmm. Some people try to, but you can't. Uh, I don't know. You can't can be everything. You can't be vegan and then uh, defend the meat eaters. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's just. I think at a certain point, some people feel obliged to, to choose. Maybe except for the Buddhists, or <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just uh, deeply rooted in our society, mm -hmm. Western societies, that it's not that you don't feel connected with everything that, that you like, connected with yourself and and the uh, and the things you uh, yeah you, you choose to be addicted with or like uh, to, to make a connection with. You said before we are free. Do you all agree with that? With? You said before, I think, you said it, that we are free to choose whatever we want and we are free individuals. Um, I said, yeah, we are free, especially we are free in movement. Okay. I, I think so, yes. To movement? That, to that, movement, yes. Ah, that, that just was that for the movement? Not just in not just in movement, I don't know, the question of freedom is a very big question. So um, I have not no clear answer for you because, yeah, I think we are free in, the, in choosing things and are free in movement. And But of course, we, it's a big question because it deals with freedom for myself, do what I want and responsible for others and not to harm anyone. So. Of course, I cannot do everything I want. But the unconscious doesn't exist. We are uh, we are free to decide uh, by ourselves. We question ourselves and we do what. So from no, it's to... no. Of of course, um, as I said, it's a big question because we are influenced by media. We are influenced by our social environment. We are influenced of so many things. So of course, our choice and our the things we are doing 
is influenced by so many things that I don't know if we are, if I am free in my decisions. I, yeah. You'll agree with it? to come to Athens to see the documenter, but in a way we are obliged because someone, like Richard, he decided that he would do the second part of the uh, and he would like go to, to Athens and not just do it in Kassel. So like the art world and the people interested in the art scene are like kind of obliged to come here. Well, in New York free, uh, we could have gone uh, to New York or somewhere else or, or to Warsaw. Um, to, to, to experience the art scene there, but we have decided to, to follow this uh, plan, um, which has imposed has been imposed a bit to us. Or like here, we, we are all free to be here, but then we, 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 were, we were told to talk to each other, and we were like, uh, told when we had to talk to the next person, and we did it. We followed, and we didn't do it. No, we were, I don't want to. So we, somehow we somehow we are free, but we are always embedded in something which gives the direction. Yeah, but I would say the freedom is quite superficial, so it's like a very small range of freedom of choices in terms of like what what choices can you make in your life that, I wouldn't call it predetermination, but I would say a lot of the frames are set. So for example, the perceiving as oneself as a woman or a man already is something that is pretty much given by a narrative of society. It's very few people who actually manage to kind of escape this narrative and they are confronted usually with societies that are quite aggressive or even you know they're in danger of their lives and so forth. The same is how can you organize your life in terms of where does your income come from, how do you live, where's your housing, how can you move around. So I would say that's very very much set for a lot of people and it is very like the, the freedom one perceives in terms of choices, whereas I can go to Athens or I can take up a certain career. I would say, of course, there's this freedom, but a large part of that are already set in terms of certain narratives. So I would question a bit this freedom notion and also the autonomous subject or something. But you committed. We said it in advance, we said it in the beginning, that you might be asked to give us a short feedback explaining why you are leaving. It's so it was clear, clear from, the, from the very top. We are bored of this. Yeah, it's very, you know, it's not very serious what you are doing. I don't think you are very prepared. This is my opinion. I don't see your role in this. Sorry. You don't see that? Yes. Your role. Is it okay? Feedback? Can I go now? <laughs> Would you prepare for a little bit more clear? Uh, pre prepared, maybe, you know, like an idea. But I, I'm sorry, I think I feel a little bit attacked. I don't, I don't want to be filmed anymore. I want to go out. Can you please open the door? Thank you.
Can you, can you speak a bit louder? I'm sorry. I just wanted to know if this is uh, the first time for you uh, that you're making this, this performance. Um, yeah, because I'm curious to know uh, if you already have, like, if you are improvising or if you already know uh, what, are, what you are. What you did before, uh, if you have, if you can compare what you are now living with all the other times. Why are you asking that? Uh, it's just curious because for us, like for the audience, I think it's for us the first time. But for me, actually, it's the first time that I'm uh, experimenting your performance, and I really don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> wondering how many times you did, you did it or if you if you do uh, want, want to experiment it just on live so I don't know and I analyze what you We expect as a group, you know, because <laughs> I, what I'm expecting. <laughs> good question, <laughs> and um, I think I was very curious what will happen and if there will be instructions or if we are coming to a discussion or if we are interacting or what we are discussing about. So I was just like really curious because I came here with a lot of questions in my head. Um, yes. Uh, what question? Like, what I said, like, why, why are people coming here to this place? And are there instructions from, from you? And um, are we going to discuss? Are we going to act somehow? What's, what's the performance like? What do you suggest for the better interpretation of the score? Sorry? What do you suggest for the better interpretation of the score? What should you do? Better? Yeah. What you should In do better? In order to interpret the score, what you should do? You read, you read the score, no? No. Oh. She read out? Ah, oh, okay, yeah, then I read the, Yeah, okay, then I got it. Mm. <laughs> Do you have any suggestions? I don't know, because you want to deal with like um, things like instrumentalization and so on. So, of course, I don't know, and that's also a question I have in the moment, if um, there are instructions for just a few persons so if it's just like you know if if there's difference what, uh, if you gave instructions to maybe her and not to everyone else so if there are group instructions if there are individual instructions so i was questioning myself that and i was thinking about that if because yeah i <laughs> yeah Okay, what did you expect? Uh, actually, I expected a noise show. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. Do you think what we are doing here is harmful? No. And how is a noise show? Um, uh, yeah, you play instruments there and then not people. And your expectations? Um, I'm 
much. Actually, I also expected some kind of uh, maybe instruments, other than voices, but I'm fine with voices, so I, I didn't have so many expectations because I felt free to. Uh, so uh, it's very nice to make you music now <laughs> because my expectations are fulfilled. <laughs> no. um, yeah, I didn't have uh, too many expectations. I was just uh, like open to what would happen here. Subject. Are we the collective subject? subject to emerge musically. Resistance of the group. 
though I don't see the collective subject in, in the room at the moment. So I'm still waiting for that. Yeah, it's their kind of resistance or that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I still feel like there are two collective subjects. They're like the, the performers or the ones who invited us to come here. We are the people who came here and we're like, um, we're not allowed to ask questions or we are allowed mm -hmm. to ask questions, but they are not answered. But they answer us questions and yeah. we tend to answer. So yeah. that's like, like, you yeah, are the instrument, this, um, uh, yeah. we are all the instruments they play. Yeah. So we're in a, in a question of power, actually. Yeah. So, and, and if we agree on being staying here and uh, yeah, being part of the game, or not, and I think we stayed here to be part of the game because we're curious and mm -hmm. just until now it's been rude a bit or stuff like that or offensive, but um, it, it hasn't gone so far that we decided to go, but maybe the other people who left were already uh, offended so much that they had to leave because for them it was already, it was a... Uh, um, what, so what it's funny is, is that the, the man who left, I don't know if he told you, but he, as we, as we spoke, he told me that he was a, a theater player. So he is like someone who is, uh, who had, have the, the habit to play in to play collective. So I think it might make sense. If he, if he left, like he, he wasn't into this kind of uh, change because it wasn't his describing of collective or anything. Sorry? Why don't you do something collective now? Um, well, I think like when when we speak together without question, like when we answering it to each other, yeah. it's a discussion. What is maybe the, the last step? Oh, the last the very fast step for something common. Maybe it's not a whole like big well, collective. Why are other people behind us um, I don't know. Maybe there is. Uh, there are people who are listening, and it's maybe it's also a, like a a first step of um, being together to, to to listen to someone to be listening. And the people who don't listen, we don't know. <laughs> Maybe there, there are people who are not listening among us, uh, and they are not. Uh, they are out of it. Then we haven't raised the question of language, actually. So we haven't raised the question of language. Mm -hmm. So. I'm not really sure. I have, I haven't talked to, to all of you, just to some of you. So I'm not sure. So some not when I talk, or but I, I, I can't be really sure if everybody understands me. Well, you not, but but. Anyway, can, can you understand yes. me the way I want to express myself because it's not my mother tongue? So it's it's just. It's a question of language also. And this question of language is also interesting because uh, I think, like, personally, I, the, oh, the whole, every people I, sp I spoke here with uh, can speak German as well as me, but we're still uh, speaking English. Maybe this is because of uh, our relationships. Du müsstest übersetzen, ansonsten sprechen einfach Deutsch und 
Die Frage wäre, was wäre ein positiver Akt, den wir tun können? <lacht> 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 I think it started quite good, but at some point we kind of let it go. Um, we didn't implement uh, the rest of the ideas. So today I think we weren't so much able to sustain the uh, the energy of the room. I think we. We didn't, we didn't have the courage to continue what we have started and I think we should have stayed a bit more on the people leaving and asking them more questions so that uh, something could be made out of it but we let them go very easily and I think the move with the, with the dancing was was good because um, it set in the table the question of what is uh, a, what is a performance, what people expect from a performance. Like the people said when they left that we should have practiced our roles more. Our roles were not so well prepared. Um, yeah, then we, we fell for it. It's interesting that we will uh, discover that we cannot make a group if there are two groups. But there is another level, I think, to this, uh, this idea, the fact that you cannot form a group also if you, you are uh, you have a lot of individual uh, inside this. A lot of the self, you know, like a lot of uh, self-narrative. Uh, interesting to try to start speaking German. <laughs> <laughs> is that there is no no big big no big other actually that there's no there's no, no no one who says what we have to do or we have to perform or not perform we don't have a script we, we don't have instructions of what we're doing we're improvising every day every day is different and uh, yes We started with so many people talking about ourselves to so many different people and maybe we should have uh, talked a little more about it but the people after reading the score they they have they had started a very interesting conversation about the responsibility uh, to the others and it was very much um, into the um, idea that we had for the for today, and then the, these people leaving, and somehow the discussion ended, and then we couldn't uh, analyze this more. But I think they were in very interesting point, and after that, I guess it. I guess, yeah. Uh, firstly, the two girls discussing about the people that were leaving and telling why they were leaving was very interesting to me because I think it was a little bit a projection because the people were uh, said an opposite thing. They said they were bored and, they, and that we were not very well prepared. I mean, they wanted to see, I, I guess, they want to see something more specific and not more free to the audience. But you said the, the opposite thing and I guess yeah, it was interesting to me that the intentions can be so broadly uh, perceived. And after that, 
I really, I, I still have a problem to understand how people that speak a lot and are confident to speak and to contribute and it's very good, they don't have the anxiety for people that don't speak to, to hear something from them. And it's, uh, it's typical, I, I mean, uh, most of the times this happens and I don't really get it because if this is a, uh, the first step of a collective situation, maybe everybody should express a little bit of their thoughts and this and maybe yeah it is cool to not press the people to speak but on the other hand uh, most of the times the people don't speak because they are less confident than the people that speak or i don't know they know the language they don't they cannot handle the language so good or uh, they are not used to speak in this context, but it's not because they, they choose not to, it's like oppressing. <clears throat> Today it ended up quite uh, aggressive, but I can assure you that it was not our intention. Um, okay, I, I admit that the camera so close to your face was not the most polite thing in the world, but my intention was more to challenge you rather than uh, being aggressive. Um, and then the couple that wanted to leave, it was so... Um, ironic, not ironic, almost childish to me. Uh, because they didn't want to give any feedback uh, which is really important for us and it's not like part of the game it's like part of the research so asking for a short feedback and then the answer is that we are not well prepared well this is also a factor uh, it might be true but 